25 crazy facts about Oasis that'll leave you feeling supersonic. Noel Gallagher came up with the band name when he was a roadie for the British indie rock band in Spiral Carpets. The brothers had the poster for their tour on the wall in which one of the venues listed was the Oasis Leisure Center. Before Oasis, Liam Gallagher worked as a parking valet for Manchester United and allegedly wreaked havoc on a number of the players' cars, including taking wire wool to Paul Ince's BMW and removing Eric Cantonar's car door. Noel wrote Oasis's first hit single, Supersonic, in half an hour during a break in a recording session while the rest of the band got Chinese takeout. Liam claims he became infatuated with the idea of joining a band after a hammer blow to the head from another student at school. He thanks the individual for his epiphany. In 1996, Oasis played two shows on the grounds at Nebworth House with an audience of 125,000 per night. Over 2.5 million people applied for tickets for the shows, meaning the possibility of 20 sold-out nights. It remains the largest ever demand for concert tickets in British history. In 2009, after a disastrous gig, Oasis promised 20,000 fans a full refund, but immediately regretted the offer so they issued autographed checks with the band's logo on it, in the hopes that people would frame them instead of cashing them. In 1995, the Oasis single Wibbling Rivalry was released, which wasn't a song, but a 15-minute argument between Noel and Liam. The argument was recorded by an interviewer and later published. It reached number 52 on the charts in Britain. Noel once described his brother Liam as a man with a fork in a world of soup, while Liam likened his brother to a potato. Oasis were sued by Coca-Cola and forced to pay $500,000 in damages after it was alleged that the Oasis song Shaker Maker had lifted words and melody from I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing, a Coke jingle. Asked about the incident, Noel joked, Now we all drink Pepsi. Oasis didn't take part in making the soundtrack for the classic film Train Spotting because Noel thought the film was about actual train spotters. In 1996, Michael Hutchins presented Oasis with a Brit Award, and during the acceptance, Noel said, has been shouldn't be presenting awards to Gunna Bees. Afterwards, Hutchins secretly re-recorded the In Excess song, Elegantly Wasted, to include the chorus, I am better than Oasis. Noel complained about Jay-Z being a headliner for Glastonbury Festival, saying that it was wrong to have a hip-hop artist at a festival known for being guitar-driven. Jay-Z then opened his set at the festival with a cover of Oasis's song, Wonderwall. Two months after Oasis's Wonderwall was released, a band called the Mike Flowers Pops released an easy listening version which was jokingly promoted as the original version of Wonderwall. Noel was later asked by his record label if he had actually written the song. While on tour in Germany in 2002, Liam and his bodyguards were beaten up. They claimed it was the Russian mob. It was actually a group of estate agents. Noel put his mansion in Ibiza up for sale because of his neighbor, James Blunt, because he couldn't stand the thought of Blunt writing crap tunes up the road. The guitar featured in Oasis's Live Forever music video was given to the band by Johnny Marr of the Smiths. In 1998, Liam was banned for life from Cathay Pacific Airlines after an incident of air rage over a scone. As a child, Noel was expelled from school for throwing a bag of flour over a teacher's head. Oasis got the name for their most famous song, Wonderwall, from George Harrison's debut solo album, Wonderwall Music, which was the soundtrack to the 1968 film, Wonderwall, a film about a lonely professor and his increasing obsession with his female neighbor, whose life he spies on via a hole in the wall. When Liam famously pulled out of their MTV Unplugged performance in 1996 due to a sore throat, Noel Gallagher took over lead vocals for the show. Instead, Liam sat in the audience drinking beer and heckling his brother. The song, Married With Children, was actually inspired by Noel's ex-girlfriend who told Noel, your music's shite, which is part of the lyrics. The house on the cover of Oasis's single Live Forever is a house that John Lennon grew up in and the house on the cover of Definitely Maybe is Bonehead's house. The band once got deported from the Netherlands after getting into a drunken brawl with a group of Chelsea Football Club fans on a ferry ride to Amsterdam. The entire band, apart from Noel, were arrested on arrival and sent back to England. On the opening night of Oasis's first ever US tour, 
The band accidentally took crystal meth, thinking it was cocaine, resulting in a train wreck of a performance as each member began playing different songs. In March 1996, the gay magazine Attitude named Liam as their pinup of the month and suggested that he should keep his back up against the Wonderwall 